Night number two, Little Rock, Arkansas. Drew Bull called Live Cliffhanger by uh, from Cord McCoy. Uh, coming off a round win. Technically two round wins if you consider the last two long rounds. Um, should be good. Hopefully another round win, going a short round sitting first and uh, pick one we want and win this deal. No, no, no riding solo tonight. Montana jacket. I'm gonna go with Dozy Down probably. Either Dozy Down or how I don't know. Smokestack. I'm legit too. Put Dozy Down or that Dark Thoughts. Give her a good shake. No. No, I just make sure the drink's alive because the Lord knows I'm alive. It's bull time. I gotta find a ladder now. Ooh, that's hot. Uh, that's not what we wanted. That's when you know she's sticky, like very sticky. Bulls, the Bulls a point better with me, but I was a, or a quarter point better with me, but it was also, a, yes sir, you run around with him, I'm sorry. Get that old Steve Vaducic walking by, Scuba Steve, crazy Steve, one or two. Okay, Joel, what time is it? 5.47. I gotcha. Yep, it'll take me about 10, maybe 15 minutes to stretch, get loosened up, and then I'll start go tie my boots on and stuff. So you just holler at me when you want your Uber. Okay, you'll probably like 30 minutes. All right, I love you. I love you more. Bye, baby. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, cliffhanger, Cord McCoy. Solid bull. Good bull. Should go left, can't go right. Big score. Big matchup. Might even be a round win. That'd be pretty cool. Two round wins. Three round wins in a row. That'd be freaking sweet. He usually lets you pet him. Smokestack, a Blake Sharps. Dark Thoughts. That's Legend and Cy Legend's down here and that's Cy Young down there. He usually lets me pet him. I usually can love on him. Not tonight though.
unfortunately. That bull before I nodded last night turned his head and caught my toe. He pushed down on my toe in that slap. I was like, ouch. And it hurt until I woke up this morning. No, it don't hurt now, but it throbbed all last night. You know, like you stub your toe or something, it just sits there throbbing and throbbing. That's what it did. That one hurt a little bit. <laughs> Dude, I'll watch the whole bull riding over again just to hear you say it on TV. Don't pick high, don't pick high. Let's go on. I can see you. Thank you. He's good. I pinned him this week, and uh, we did them all just kind of dry runs. Yep. The, so the dirt was still pretty wet. We actually bought another load of dirt, put another uh, load of dirt on top. But the bulls would kind of just do dry runs. So we got them all up, uh, sort them off. Put them in small groups and run through the shoots, kind of just like fill out the arena. Uh, move them around, kick them back outside, feed them again, bring them again. So I just kind of get the, the routine figured out. But, uh, yeah, he's getting a little bait. We just uh, dewormed all those bulls again. So with that, in spring, and then kind of up and feed a little bit, they'll, they'll hit them a gross work. We're uh, probably in the next 30 days, the training will kind of kick in. When the sun comes out, it's, when you start looking, it's like 60, 70 degrees every day. That's a good day. All the work starts getting done. That's a good day. Yeah, I had my name on it. Well then, I found this one at my dad's shop. He's like, I found this. And I told him I found it. He's like, you just have it. Like, well, I need one. He goes, just keep it, use it. So I've been using it and put this tape on it because the handle was kind of splintering a little bit. And don't spoil any now. It works good. I like it. Get it's a job. Right, 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 right. Sure. How many more you got? That's all I got. Yeah, Dad, yeah, Dad always take my hand like this. Yeah. He rode bulls and Bronx for the one year, and he said by the time he was at the end of his career, he, uh, he was uh, tape head to toe. So. Say hello to the Cowboys of the PBR! Number one man. Now, 
Here is the situation. The great equalizer are the Bulls. That is the two-time PBL World Champion, Ryan Busolo, who is walking into the building. And he, he is looking to maintain that top spot here at PBR Little Rock. And we are just getting underway on this Sunday night. So much bull riding left to get to here as we continue coverage of round number two. Hey, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. How many of you here tonight are up in the to do it, folks? Fear not. It's time right now for us to run across the tee and dot the I's. It's time for some PBR 101. Officials score the ball on how hard the ball bunts, how high he kicks, power, speed, spin, and direction change. Athletes are scored by their control. Rhythm and how they match movement with the boy from the bull to demonstrate control. There are a total of 100 points available for a qualified ride. In an exceptional night is ahead of us. The one thing that was missing on that video is every single one of these athletes will have a story to tell. Some will be a story of longevity of his career. It is our job, Little Rock, Arkansas, to line them up and make some noise on a Saturday for the first event title of his season. And right now, that guy is a top five contender for a world title. Catapulted him right in the perfect position to make a run at the age of 20 years old. He is now in a battle for a PBR So if you're looking for somebody to cheer for, here you go. Hope the hell on Smithfield, Missouri has a bull called Cliff Anner. And he's sliding up just about ready to nod his head. Come on, son. Could be the first man to round two. Two. 
that like a zombie. You are like a zombie. Is that it? Sorry. Could you two please stand up, ladies? The entire span of the night. Arkansas, are you still with me? Hello one more time, everybody. That young man right there. Solid. Solid weekend. 